It's been around a long time. Since the 1930s, the Lafayette Cinema today is still fully operational. But as you're about to see, this year has been a struggle for the staff. If you want to see a movie inside a theater in Lafayette, this is your only option. The doors here first opened to customers more than 80 years ago. The building was built in the 30s at some point. Um, it's hard to get any uh, concrete information on it since the courthouse burnt in 1932. So finding information is a little bit hard, but what I have found out is it was built in the 30s and it was a first run the uh, movie theater, meaning that when movies were released, it was run, they didn't uh, run the old, older stuff. And in somewhere in the 70s, mid to late 70s, it burnt down, and before they could reopen, it burnt again. And then they finally got it reopened in 1984, the way it is now. But the original masonry work, blocks, concrete, that's all original to the 1930s building. Eddie and Priscilla Warner have run the Lafayette Cinema since 2005. This year has been like no other. We've always cleaned after every show, but now we have a, um, a sanitizing spray that we spray down the, all the seats, the whole auditorium after each show, which is to, uh, to kill the uh, COVID-19 virus. We've added the, uh, if you can see on the dividers between the seats, we've sectioned off every other seat uh, row so that um, we'll have a good separation for anybody when they come in. And, and we used a, uh, a light material, so it's dark in here. So if you, once you go down the wrong aisle, you don't trip and fall. So we try to take everything into consideration. We've got forehead uh, thermometers that we that we can use and hand sanitizer and the plexiglass on the uh, between the concessions and the customers. We have a plexiglass wall set up. The Warners had to close from March until August. The hope now is when the bigger cities reopen their movie theaters, the Motion Picture Association will release more new movies and that will have a trickle down effect here. Around here, it didn't really get that bad as far as um, infections, but around the country, it was a lot worse. So having a movie theater, we were dependent on other places to be open to for the studios to release the movies. And since there are a lot of places are still shut down now, it's, uh, it's still a little, little um, tight. So we were, we were shut down till August. Uh, we, so that was a little over four months that we were shut down. And we opened back up in August, which is basically the, our slowest time of the year. So we had to deal with the coronavirus plus being the slowest time of the year. So it's, it's been a little taxing lately. <laughs> When California and New York open up, the studios will, will release more movies. And I'm confident that that's going to happen, that next year is going to be a really big year for the movie industry. So it's just waiting it out. Probably, like I said, there was a couple of movies coming out between now and Christmas, so waiting out to the end of the year. The Lafayette Cinema is open Friday through Tuesday. Admission is only $5 for adults and $3 for children. It's $3 for everyone on Sunday and Monday. Here's hoping business gets back to normal soon and the COVID cases locally continue to drop. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.